Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are creating this icy blue Valentine's Day look. I don't, I don't feeling the reds and the pinks and stuff this year and it's winter still. So I thought why not do a spin on Valentine's Day but something still dramatic, elegant, great for a dinner out and inspired by my antique earring collection. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. Hey, before we get too far into the video, if you have not already, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I upload twice a week. It's totally free. Subscribe. It would really help me out on my channel. And I think you'll really enjoy the content. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Click that like button and let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so let me show you a close up of the earring we are going off of today. So for Valentine's Day, we've got a heart and it is silver. It's one of these screw backs little dangly so when you move it kind of moves with you and it's got this light blue in it kind of matches my nails that need redone to be honest but if you guys have watched my channel for a while you know that of all the colors blue is usually not the one I gravitate towards for eyeshadow at least blue is actually my favorite color um, just not for eyeshadow but I love blue clothes blue accessories all of that so I thought this would be a good chance to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone and yeah, kind of have like a wintry twist on Valentine's Day. It snowed about eight inches here over the weekend. So uh, it's pretty icy outside and I don't know, I'm just not feeling the normal like warm pink tones and things this year. So thought I would try something a little bit different. Maybe you guys would like to try something different too. But if you want to see a normal like pink reddish whatever type video let me know and i can make one of those for you guys too so we are dipping into an oldie but a goodie this is the kaleidos club nebula unfortunately it is no longer available however i think a lot of the shades that i'm using are ones you could dupe out like the mattes i don't know about astro the shimmery one i'm using but the other ones i think you can and i'm also going to be using a single shade from um cleona so that one i know is for sale still so let me zoom you in so you can see the eye look all right so i'm going to start with an m441 and i'm going to go in with the shade seven of nine this lighter blue one there i know blue not my normal thing but here we go in fact i i truly don't think i've ever used this color in the palette so there's that and i'm going to use this as my transition and i think i've mentioned in other videos the way that i have been trying to play with blues more when i do is that i've realized i like them more when it's not just blue um, so I need like a brown or some other color in with it in my mind to have it not be so like blue um, I feel like there's some sort of stereotype too against blue with like this like gr old granny blue and purple colored eyeshadow and a red lip I don't know maybe that's just an image I have in, of like old grandma greeting cards in my head but it's there <laughs> and I never want to look like that like ooh, clown like true clown makeup so I am today mixing the blue with silver next i'm taking uh what is this a js6 and i'm going into void which is a deep matte navy again you guys probably have like teal shades like what i went in with and dark blue navies if you don't have this that i think you could create something very similar And I'm laying it at a diagonal because I feel like that helps to give it that lifted appearance when I lay it at a diagonal like that. And then I'll go back in and blend it. And then I just try to blend it into the crease there, into that first color. And in fact, I think I'm gonna go back into that first color just to help blend the edges a bit here. And with no additional product, I'm going to take that one with the dark blue and go under my lash line as well. And then I'm taking that same brush and dipping a little into the lighter for the lower lash line on the inner portion. I think that's going to be it for 
the mats here. Let's see. So I'm going to take my Ulta glitter primer here and put a little bit on this Cleona brush. I got that in a mystery box that I opened from them. I'll link that in the cards if you haven't seen it yet and you are interested. This eye look is starting to look very dramatic, but for me, for Valentine's Day, I like dramatic. Um, maybe you like more of a soft glam, but for me, even if I'm eating dinner at home, I still really like it to be special more, I don't know, dramatic to me is just like elevated, like special event makeup. And I like to do that even if it's just Wes and I at home. All right, so now that I've got that glitter primer on, I'm gonna go in with Astro, which is the blue shimmer right here. I'm not gonna take it across everywhere. I'm just gonna place it as the first kind of shimmer here along where I have the darker matte and I'm gonna try to lay it at a diagonal so I have room for the silver on the inside. Oh, that is so pretty. I mean, I, I'm not even a blue shadow person and I can appreciate how stunning this is. That looks great. Why haven't I played with this color again? because I'm stubborn and don't want to try new things. I don't know, I don't know if that's true, but this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, you could do that just all over the lid and really have it be blue monochromatic smoky. I don't even know if I would be that mad. I know I just said I'm not about the monochromatic blue, but look at it. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so pause. I think we're done with that palette, but we are gonna go, like I said, into the Cleona single now. And again, this is a single I got with this brush in this mystery box, and it's called Icicle. I have to be careful with her because, you know, I already dropped it, of course, and it partially shattered because that's just the life I live for some reason. I will say I do not like the packaging that their circle palettes come out with. The Stained glass collection is much better. I hope they transition these circles to something other than this little like foam plasticky thing. So I'm taking that same brush that I did with Astro from Cleona and I'm gonna dip into the circle palette which was so pigmented when I swatched this you guys. So with the glitter primer I can only imagine. And we're gonna put the silver in that remaining portion up front. Ooh, that is so frosty. I also feel like, and I've mentioned this before, that some of this like frostier stuff, blues and silvers, I think they look better now that I've got lighter hair, which obviously my roots are growing in very badly, I'm aware. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to get it done next time so that I've got some shadowing in the top so I don't have to keep redoing my roots and just kind of gradually let my natural hair grow back in and then I can still do like some fun colors on the ends that are still platinum if I want to. Um, yes please. I, I will have two. <laughs> yes, that looks so good. Okay, this is not a look I would normally do whatsoever and I'm very happy with how it's turning out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do, I think, just some black liner. I have a metallic blue, but I feel like it's so metallic already, like, what would it even do, you know? So I'm gonna do, yeah, just a black, probably liquid liner, if I can find one here. I know I've got one, here's one, um, and I'll be right back. All right, that liner's starting to get a little, I don't know, dried out or used up, one of the two. Either way, I've got a bajillion liners, so, that's okay if I'm using stuff up. That's the point of this series, right? All right, so here is with liner and mascara. I feel like this really could get quite, quite dramatic if I added a lash. I'm not going to. I actually don't have that many pairs of lashes, you guys, and so I try to save them for actual special events. If I had more, I would use them more, but I kinda just save those for like actual special events, and it's not actually Valentine's Day, the day that I'm filming this. Oh, but this, I'm really happy with the blend too that I was able to get and achieve like it almost looks like one ombre color like you can't see the line at least I don't think so between the silver the shimmery blue and the mattes this this is really pretty okay so 
If you wanted, you could just finish with regular blush or highlighter, neutral, or whatever be done. I'm gonna get a little creative here. So I'm going in with the Likely Makeup Fairy Blush Palette. And I have not played yet with this kind of tealy shade. Now this looks a little too teal for the look that I'm wearing. So I'm actually gonna try to mix the teal and the purple. This is the purple I've used in my first antique earring inspired look. I'll link that in the cards as well if you haven't seen it. So I'm gonna try to take a little bit of both. See how this goes. Be very, very light handed with it because you know, colored blush and all, that's, I know, a whole nother realm for some of us. Get it a little on the bridge of the nose too. It's very subtle, but that's kind of what I want. I don't want to do like too much blue on the cheeks. Just like a hint of it. Someday I'll do like a really heavy blushy, like I know I want to do some sort of like elven look that's got like the heavy blush in here, but I think I want to do that one more with like the yellow blush and just really go ham. But that's for a totally different vibe than what we have going on now to go with these earrings. For highlighter, we are going in with Mermaid Tears and this is from Bitter Lace Beauty. I'm using a Midas Cosmetics uh, highlight brush, just a 1128. I'm gonna leave links to my video talking about Midas closing in case you're interested. This is one of the products, this brush, that is still available and I really like this type of more like flimsy highlighter brush for highlighters that are super intense but you want them to be a little less like right now it's just like really a lot. Um, but you can kind of shear them out, I feel like, with this one because it is not so dense. So if you want something to look a little more glowy and not so bam, this is good. If you want something to look bam, then I would say go for the uh, Kaleidos H2 Precision Highlighter Brush. That's a lot more dense and gives you a lot more impact, but I want more of just the blue glow from this Mermaid Tears. All right, we definitely have a little bit of the shadow, the blue on the face to tie in. Now let's do the lips. So for the lips, I'm gonna start with liner. I'm gonna line the entire lip and I'm using the shade Chestnut from Ofra. All right, so there's the lip with Chestnut. I did severely overline my upper lip just to give it a little more <laughs> pouty look. I don't know if I need it or not, but here we are. And then I thought about doing that blue again here, but the blue is just so gorgeous on the eyes. I wanna let it, let it live its moment. So I'm actually gonna finish with the Milani Hypnotic Lights uh, Brilliant Holographic Lip Topper. And this is in shade, let's see, 01 Luster Light. So I'm just gonna dab on the center of the lips. And then pat. And do that a few times. Actually gonna take my finger to help too. Mm, how pretty is it that over a dark lip? Mm, love it. It's got a little bit of the uh, typical Valentine's kind of gold and pink going in it. I don't know how much it's picking up on camera. And yeah, guys, that is the entire look. What do you think of it? I, I love it. Um, like I said, inspired by these earrings, but very dramatic. And I don't know, I'm into it. I feel like it is a really nice like twist on Valentine's Day. Ooh, with an updo. Wait a minute. Like with an up and like, ooh, I'm I'm planning here. I'm planning here, okay, for Valentine's Day because it's not Valentine's Day yet, but I'm feeling it. I'm trying to convince Wes, either we're gonna go out or there is a new lobster pasta recipe that I really wanna try that we might make at home. So hopefully one of those two things happens in my future within the next week or so. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye.